Okay, there's so much hype going on about the Ukrainian counteroffensive having started across from Kherson that I have to comment on it. Um, it's not the counteroffensive. That area where they've landed, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm in the forest with my ferret. The area where they landed, it's basically unoccupied. It's really shitty terrain for the Russians to occupy and defend against the Ukrainians. So for months, and you can go back and look in Speak the Truths videos, uh, all the way back from just after the Ukrainians liberated Kherson, there's been special forces and other recon units raiding across that river, setting up camps and bases for uh, a while and then going back. And I suspect it's the same that's going now, perhaps on a slightly light, larger scale, uh, to as a feint, because the counteroffensive is coming soon. There's no doubt about it, though the ground is still wet from the videos I see. So um, it, the counteroffensive is not starting across the Dnieper. The Dnieper is an enormous river. You can't, I've, I've never seen it, but I'm a military historian and I know how big that river is. And I know how hard it is to not just cross a river, an opposed river crossing is very hard, but this is unopposed because there's no Russians immediately on the other side because there's no, nowhere for them to stay. It's flat and sandy. It's almost like a desert. So they're not there. Um, but supporting a counteroffensive of six, eight brigades across a river like the Dnieper, that would be... And I'm not sure the Ukrainians are capable of that. I only... The Russians aren't even. Not now. They might have been at the beginning, but they no longer are. The Americans can do it. And that's about it. Maybe the Poles these days, but I don't think either the Chinese or the French or the Brits can. Because it's... There's no more bridges across the river. The Russians have blown them up. Um, and a counteroffensive with combined arms takes a lot of ammunition and fuel and food and medical supplies and clothing and boots and whatever else you can think about. It has to be ferried across. Um, where would the boats come from? Or they'd have to construct bridges across an enormous river. As far as I can recall, the Dnieper is more than a kilometer broad at, at that point. You don't ferry supplies for a counteroffensive across there, unless you're the Red Army or Wehrmacht of World War II. So, uh, no, the counteroffensive has not started yet. It is a diversion, a feint. Um, and they will, of course, exploit if they can, but they cannot do it with large forces. I expect it to be no larger than a battalion. Probably only a company or two, but maybe a battalion, a light but infantry battalion? Possible. So, no, it's not the counteroffensive. I don't know where and when the counteroffensive are coming. I don't think it will go immediately for, from Sabarisha towards Militopol and Mariupol. Because that would be the logical thing, and that's what has been signaled. That's where the supplies have been built up. And uh, the Russians know that it is coming there at some point. So the Ukrainians will have to do what they've done before. They'll force them to do a, make a difficult choice. They'll attack somewhere else and force the Russians to reinforce there, or lose that. And when they reinforce there, then the Ukrainians can go for the counter-offenses to cut off the Crimea and take that and we'll see what happens then. But again, they've gotten far too little and far too late from us Westerners. It is shameful how little we have supported these people fighting for their lives and freedom. Anyway, just to reiterate, the small <laughs> attack across the Dnieper, across from Kherson, it's not the counteroffensive.